This is Colin Selleck of Binghamton University. This video lecture is for the course ME273 Statics and we use the book Statics by R.C. Hibbler. Today I'm going to cover section 9.1, center of gravity, center of mass, and the centroid of a body. After today you will be able to understand the concepts of center of gravity, center of mass, and centroid, and you will be able to determine the location of these points on a body. Uh, first we'll cover some applications. I'll define center of gravity, uh, tell you how to determine its location on the body, and then we'll solve some problems. But first some applications. To design the structure for supporting a water tank, as you see here, we will need to know the weight of the tank and the water, as well as the locations where, where the resultant forces representing these distributed loads act. One concern about a sport utility vehicle is that it might tip over when making a sharp turn. One of the important factors in determining its stability is the SUV's center of mass. Now the center of mass should be low in order to maintain stability. To design the ground support structure for this goal post, it's critical to find the total weight of the structure and the center of gravity's location. Now the location of the center of gravity measured from, for instance, the y-axis, which in this case is x tilde, is determined by equating the moment of the resultant weight times x-bar to the sum of the moments of the weights of all the particles. And mathematically what I'm saying is that um, x-bar times the total weight, that's the moment, right? must be equal to uh, the integral of x tilde times dw. Uh, x tilde is this distance right here, and that's the distance to each individual particle, so x tilde will change for each particle. And likewise we have uh, y bar times the weight is equal to the integral of y tilde dw, and z bar times the weight is equal to the integral of z tilde times dw. Therefore, we can solve for x bar, y bar, and z bar from those previous equations and get the location of the center of gravity with respect to the x, y, and z axes. And you can see that here. Now this will become clearer when I start doing some examples, and I'm going to show you a technique um, to use that will um, make solving these problems very, very easy. Now we can replace the weight with the m, the mass, in these equations. Then we get the coordinates of the center of mass, uh, which you can see here. Now in a constant gravitational field, the center of weight and the center of mass are the same. Uh, but likewise, we can also replace any of those um, weight, we can replace the weight by the volume, the area, or the length respectively. So you have a number of equations for solving for the centroid of an arc, of an area, of a volume, of a weight, or of a mass. Now the centroid, C, is a point defining the geometric center of an object. Uh, the centroid coincides with the center of mass or the center of gravity only if the material of the body is homogeneous. That means the density or specific weight is constant throughout the body. If an object has an axis of symmetry, as you see here, the centroid of the object lies on that axis. Uh, and note that in some cases, the centroid may not be located on the object. And here are some uh, simple shapes here. And in, inside cover of the back of the book, there are um, equations for the centroid of a number of different types of shapes. Obviously, for a rectangular area, the centroid is located at the center of the rectangle, so it's B over 2 here and H over 2 here. Uh, for a cylinder, um, it is the z-axis passes through the uh, center of gravity since it's symmetric about that axis, um, and, and it's located, you know, half of the height of the cylinder. Um, for a triangle, the centroid is located, you know, one third away from the longer side. Um, 
And you can see likewise for quarter and semicircular arcs where the centroid is located. And again, look on the inside cover of the book and you'll find uh, a number of equations that give the location of the centroid for a number of uh, simple shapes. Now here are the steps to determine the centroid of an area. Choose an appropriate differential element, dA, as a general point, xy. Uh, generally, if y is expressed in terms of x, for instance, if y is equal to x squared plus 1, use a vertical rectangular element. Uh, if the converse is true, then use a horizontal rectangular element. And again, I'm going to do some examples, and this will become clearer when I do those. The next step is to express the differential element in terms of the differentiating elements dx or dy. Uh, determine the coordinates x tilde, y tilde of the centroid of the rectangular element in terms of the general point x and y. So that means you're going to write an equation for x tilde that's a function of x and an equation for y tilde which is a function of y. Uh, express all the variables and integral limits in the formula using either x or y depending upon whether the differential element is in terms of dx or dy, uh, and then integrate. We use similar steps to determine the center graph or the center of mass. And so let's take a look at some examples to make this clear. So here is uh, an area in blue here. Uh, we want to find the centroid of this area. And uh, the, um, the area boundary here is defined by the equation y is equal to x cubed. So since y is given in terms of x, we'll choose a vertical rectangular strip as our differentiating element. You can see that here in red. So the first step is to write the area in red as a function of uh, x because we're, the differentiating element is, is dx. So what is the area? of that red rectangle. Well, it has width of dx, right? And what's its height? Well, its height is just this value right here, which is y, right? So dA is equal to y times dx. We know y is equal to x cubed, so this becomes x cubed dx. Now the next step is to write x tilde and y tilde in terms of x and y respectively. And so that means we need to know x tilde is the distance to the differentiating element center. So that means that x tilde is equal to x in this case. And now y tilde, here is the center of that um, rectangular element y tilde is this distance here, which is nothing other than y over 2. So y tilde is y over 2, and since y is equal to x cubed, this is equal to x cubed over 2. So let me write that again up here. dA is equal to uh, x cubed dx, x tilde is equal to x, and y tilde is equal to x cubed over 2. And now the next step is to do the integration. Uh, the formula that we're using is x bar is equal to the integral of x tilde dA over the integral of dA. So to just make the substitutions here, so this would be the integral of x tilde, which is x. dA is x cubed dx divided by the integral of dA, which is x cubed dx. And the bounds of the integral go from uh, 0 to 1. That's because uh, we're integrating over x, right? And so we're going from 0 to 1 meter. So this would be from 0 to 1, 0 to 1. So when you do this integration here, this comes out to be uh, 1 fifth times x to the fifth. Evaluate it between 1 and 0. 0 and 1 rather, uh, divided by 1 quarter times x to the fourth, evaluated between 0 and 1. So this is nothing other than 1 fifth over 1 fourth, or 0.8 meters. And to solve for y bar, do a similar thing. 
the equation is the integral of y tilde dA divided by the integral of dA. So in our case, y tilde is x cubed over 2. So this would be integral of x cubed over 2 times dA, which is x cubed dx. So this is x cubed dx divided by the integral of dA, which is x cubed dx. So integral of x cubed dx. And these will be evaluated between 0 and 1. So when you do this integral, this comes out to be uh, 1 14th times x to the seventh power, evaluated between 0 and 1, divided by uh, 1 fourth x to the fourth, evaluated between 0 and 1. So this comes out to be 1 14th divided by 1 fourth, which is uh, 0.286 uh, meters. So let's do another one. Here we have a steel plate. It's 0.3 meters thick, has a density of 7850 kilograms per cubic meter. Find the location of the center of mass and also compute the reactions at A and B. So our plan is to follow the solution steps to find the center of mass by integration. And then we'll use the two-dimensional equations of equilibrium to solve for the external reactions. Because the output of the uh, center of mass calculation is going to give us the weight of the steel plate and its resultant location on the body. Now this one's a little different because one uh, bound of the curve is the equation y squared is equal to 2x and the other bound down here is y is equal to minus x. Okay, so I'm going to choose dA as this uh, vertical strip right here. So it has a width of dx. So the first step is to write dA in terms of uh, x, in this case, since I'm, I'd be integrating over x. So what is the area of this little rectangular strip? Well, it has a width of dx, so it's dx times its height. Now, what is the height? Well, the point here is y2, right? It's and the point down here is y1. So therefore, the height of this object is y2 minus y1. So this will be dx times y2 minus y1. But y2, right, is equal to square root of 2x. This is 0.2 and this is 0.1. So this is equal to dx times square root of 2x. And uh, y1 is equal to minus x, so we'll have uh, minus a minus, so this will be plus x. The next step is to write x tilde and y tilde in terms of x, since I'm differentiating over x. So x tilde is the uh, location of the center of gravity, or the center of the centroid, rather, of this rectangular strip. So x tilde, then, is just the distance between the origin and the center of that strip, which is none other than x. Now, y tilde. Uh, the question is, what what is the center, the center right here? We want y tilde. Well, it's nothing other than y2 plus y1 over 2. And since y2 is equal to square root of 2x, since this is equal to square root of 2x, y1 is equal to x, or rather minus x, that's a minus there, divided by 2. So it would be square root of 2x minus x over 2. So I'm going to write that again up here. dA is equal to uh, square root of 2x plus x dx. x tilde is equal to x y tilde is equal to uh, square root of 2x minus x over 2. So our equation for the location of the centroid in the x direction is x bar is equal to uh, the integral of x tilde dA over the integral of dA. So now we just make our substitutions. This will be the integral from 0 to 2 in this case, and that's because uh, x goes between 0 and 2 meters. Uh, this will be 
uh, x tilde, which is x, times uh, dA, which is square root of 2x plus x dx, divided by uh, the integral between 0 and 2 of the integral dA, so this would be uh, square root of 2x plus x dx. So this comes out to be uh, 2 times the square root of 2 over 5 times x to the 5 halves power uh, plus 1 third x cubed evaluated from 0 and 2 uh, divided by uh, 2 square root of 2 divided by 3 times x to the 3 halves plus 1 half x squared evaluated, evaluated from 0 and 2. And that comes out to be uh, 1.257 meters. So let's just write it over here. X bar is equal to 1.257 meters. Okay, so now we have X bar, let's do Y bar. So uh, Y bar is equal to the integral of Y tilde dA divided by angle of dA. So y bar is here. It is, um, so this is the integral from 0 to 2 of uh, square root of 2x minus x over 2 times uh, square root of 2x plus x dx divided by the integral dA which is uh, from 0 to 2, uh, square root of 2x plus x dx. So when you do the integral, it comes out, this is uh, x squared over, this is x squared over 2 minus 1, 6 x cubed, between 0 and 2, divided by uh, 2 times the square root of 2 over 3, times x to the 3 halves, uh, plus 1 half x squared. Evaluate, evaluate between 0 and 2. So y bar comes, becomes uh, 0 0.143 meters. And we're going to need the area of this in order to solve for the, uh, the weight. Remember, we were given the density of that block, so we need its weight. So we're going to need the area. But that area is just given by integral of dA, so that area is given by this equation which is this right here. So the area then comes out to be uh, 4.667 square meters. So let's write our results down. We found that X bar is equal to you know, 1.26 meters. Uh, y bar was equal to 0.143. And the area was equal to 4.667. Now, we were given the density was equal to 7850 uh, kilograms per cubic meter. So therefore, the, the mass is equal to 7850 uh, kilograms per cubic meter times the area, which is 4.667 square meters, times the thickness of this plate, which was given as 0.3 meters. And that is uh, 10 point, 10,989 kilograms. So the weight is, you know, G times the mass. So we multiplied this by 9.81. So the weight is the uh, 107.8 kilonewtons, uh, which you see here. So now this problem just becomes a simple matter of writing down the equations of equilibrium and solving for the reaction forces. Uh, this is a pen here, so we have a reaction force in X and Y, and this is a roller, so we have a normal reaction force there. Okay, so first, uh, let's sum moments about A, because that'll let us solve directly for N sub B. So summation of moments about A is equal to zero, and that is equal to... Um, now, NB wants to rotate counterclockwise, it's positive, 
and it's this distance away, right? The length of this side right here. And that's a two on two uh, triangle. So that would be, this is uh, times uh, two times square root of two. And then we have the moment due to the weight and that's wants to rotate clockwise. So it's negative. So minus 107.8 kilonewtons times its distance away, which is 1.26 meters. So we get N sub B is equal to 47.9 kilonewtons. And summing forces in the x direction, set that equal to zero. Now A sub x is in the minus x direction. And we have the component of N sub B in the x direction, which is positive. So it's N sub B times cosine of 45. So this would be plus 47.9 cosine of 45. So A sub x comes out to be 33.9 kilonewtons. And lastly, summing force is in the y, set that equal to zero. We have A sub y minus the weight, 107.8, uh, plus the component of NB in the y direction, which is plus uh, 47.9 sine of 45. And solving for A sub y, you get 73.9 this concludes the lecture on chapter 9.1, center of gravity, center of mass, and the centroid of a body. The next video is on chapter 9.2, composite bodies. See you in cyberspace.